But we are going to come back to these graphs and these functions a lot. So we want to make sure we understand them. First one, so we have three functions now. Because again, piecewise functions are not limited to just having two functions. We could have three functions. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to graph each one separately and then erase kind of like I had a pencil. So the first one is ln of x. Forget about the restriction for a second. Let's just graph ln of x. Without hesitation, you guys should know that the graph is going to look something like that, making sure that we know that it crosses at 1, 0. OK? So that's the parent graph without any transformations. Fortunately for us, there are no transformations here, right? So the only thing it says is x has to be greater than 1. So here's 1. Greater than is to the right. Anything less than 1 is not going to be a part of the function. Or also, 1 is not going to be a part of the function. So we're going to have a nice little hole there. So everybody see how I graphed the first one. Okay. The second one has some transformations that we need to come in. Everybody should know that a quadratic is that nice little parabola graph. Now let's go to the transformations. We're multiplying a negative on the outside. That reflects the x-axis. And if you're adding a 1 outside the function, so that's shifting the graph up one unit. So the graph should look something like this. That would be 1. So we're going down 1. Okay, so it looks something like that. Because remember, it goes over 1, up 1, like 1, 1 squared is 1, 2, 2 squared is 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? That's fine. Well, well, okay. So, anyways, however, this one says only graph this function between negative 1 and 1. So x is greater than negative 1, but not equal to negative 1, so that's a whole. And x is, greater, x is less than or equal to, so that's going to be filled in. But anything outside 1 and negative 1, is now being erased. Then, last but not least, guys, we have a line. You can remember this line has a slope of 1 over 1. And it has a y-intercept of negative 1. So I go down to negative 1, make a nice little dot. Slope is going to be up 1 to the left 1, or to the right 1, down 1. Either way, the graph looks something like that. And then we look at the trend root for saying it says, only graph this function for x is less than or equal to negative 1. So here's negative 1. All values that are less than negative 1 are to the left. That means anything to the right is going to be deleted. So I go ahead and erase the rest of this. So therefore, you guys can see that here's what my function looks like. If I was going to ask you what the domain would be, you can see that this graph is expanding to the left and to the right. So the domain is negative infinity to infinity. If I was going to ask you the range, you guys can see that the graph goes as low as 0, which is includes 0, right? Includes 0 at two points. 0 to infinity. And that'd be it. Is that last one?